What is up visualizers, STV in motion here again and today I want to show you something that uh, I stumbled on by mistake and that is how to take this element and then create a heart shaped uh, frame maybe you can play some things inside and you can create this shape as well you can also uh, bounce it to the bit and we can also create some kind of a sequential look out of it and that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's copy this clip here. Just want to emphasize that uh, this clip is with transparent background with alpha channels. And this is important for a radar cloner that we're going to use today. Let's start making it. So let's take it and drop a radar cloner on it. Let's up a little bit the number of clones and use the fan here. And maybe we can up a little bit the clones and maybe also use the star rotation and if you are if you can notice we already have here kind of a half of the heart and then we can rotate it and if we add another transform and push it to the side then when we will add a mirror We'll have uh, some kind of a heart forming in here. Let's fine tune it so I can see the radius is a little bit too big. That's better. And we can also play with, uh, with the angle here, mass rotation. That's nice. One thing that I always like to add when I'm using the, um, the cloners are here is a kind of a drop shadow. These are the parameters and I have a medium and a wide. You can even drop two of these. You see how defined they look now? Much, much better. So that's how I created the first clip. Let's control shift T to update it and let's copy it again. The next one is just uh, playing with the size here. So we can close these. Let's, you know, get a smaller radius, a smaller uh, start scale, and we will maybe get them closer here. It's nice. I really don't want them to protrude here. So I'm going to, yeah, that's nice. So once we got this hard shape array, we can uh, bounce it and you saw me doing it a couple of times, I'm sure. Let's do it again. Just a simple bounce on the scale with the BPM sync. It will start in 100% and will uh, add like 20% and hope nobody will uh, notice that we are upscaling it too much. And then we can add an envelope and then add a kind of preset here. To make it bounce on the beat and it looks great let's copy this and let's close this bouncy thing for now by the way did you know that you can rename and call this a bounce that's nice isn't it all right let's say now let's see how how and what's what's and here, what I did is I took this and I dropped a mirror in the beginning. So this is the, the element I'm going to use from now on. And what I did here is I added a transform uh, after, it doesn't matter before or after, and we'll do the bounce trick again. But this time it's gonna be from 80. 200 because it's already uh, at the maximum size here that's nice of course let's add an envelope what we just have here is like this is at zero and this one is two percent this is at 25 and this should be 27 so really fast moving from smaller to bigger and this will help me when i will add a radial cloner now let's open this as well and I will use the delay to make it look sequ sequential like this. It's already great. Let's just 
even better and um, what I can is to make it the clip go faster nice check this out of course you can always add the bounce we can also um, change a little bit the position not here you know the center of it to be more centered I hope uh, this little um, tutorial can help you maybe in Valentine's maybe you are the romantic type this is from me to you with love I was STV in motion and until the next tutorial go out there and amaze the crowds <laughs>